Ladies and gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. Да я такое же право имею, как ты! Да имеешь, ты имеешь, что я так и так получишь! Да не было никак. Ты с ним Welcome, movie juicers. Today, we dive into the captivating world of international cinematography, presenting the distinctive styles of American and Russian filmmaking. When we speak about the US film, our thoughts instantly lead to the Hollywood sign, the most emblematic symbol of American cinematography. Hollywood is considered the oldest and most famous film industry in the world, being the birthplace of most of the cinema genres, comedy, drama, action, musicals, romance, horror, science fiction, and epic. The dominant styles of American cinema are classical Hollywood cinema, which developed mainly between 1910 and 1962 and still influences today's films and post-classical cinema or the new Hollywood. Classical Hollywood cinema is distinguished by three elements, editing, narrative logic, and cinematic time and space. During this period, Hollywood preferred continuity editing in a 180-degree approach for the scenes, creating a permanent imaginary axis of 180 degrees between the viewer and the shot, thus allowing the clear orientation of the viewers within the position and direction of action in a scene. The narration in American classics always progressed through psychological motivation, for example, the path required for a character to have success. American films often focus on individualism and personal stories, portraying characters overcoming challenges or achieving personal growth, with a primary narrative line connected with secondary narratives. The beginning and the end of the film are clear and the characters have clear traits and are very active and goal-oriented. Time in classical Hollywood is continuous, linear, and uniform, with the only modification of timeline allowed in this format being the flashback, mostly used for presenting memories of the characters. In the case of space, the main rule is object permanence, with the focus being put on the human bodies or the objects of significance, these being presented almost always in the central part of the picture frame. The narrative subtly directs attention to the audience through frontal presentation. The set employs three-point lighting, predominantly high-key lighting, while costumes are crafted to create a distinct separation between the foreground and background, enhancing depth. In contrast with classical Hollywood, the new Hollywood brought new approaches to drama and characterization, chronology scrambling became allowed, storylines featured twist endings and the lines between protagonists and antagonists became more confusing. Filmmakers started getting access to technological innovations not available before, like the 35mm feature film, the Dolby Digital 6-channel stereo sound, and computer-generated imagery. Hollywood became renowned for its emphasis on visual spectacle, employing cutting-edge technology and grandiose set designs to create immersive experiences. American films often prioritize dynamic camera movements, extensive color grading, and a fast-paced editing style, contributing to the energetic and engaging atmosphere. Blockbuster entertainment started to dominate the American cinematic landscape, attracting audiences worldwide. When we speak about Russian cinematography, it made its de facto debut after the Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin came into power. Both Lenin and, later, Joseph Stalin considered the cinema as the most important medium of communication of the new society and, even more, the most important of all arts. Due to the strong influence of Russian political leadership upon the local cinematography, Russian films were almost entirely focused on collective experiences, reflecting societal issues and historical contexts. Because the Russian production of movies was financed by the state during a great part of the local cinematography existence, the director's sole objective was artistic success, ignoring the necessity for financial earnings. This provided great leverage for the quality of Russian movies. Russian filmmakers have been focused on profound storytelling and emotional depth, leveraging long takes and deliberate pacing to build a strong narrative foundation. Russian cinema is deeply rooted in the state's cultural context, reflecting the nation's rich heritage. Filmmakers explore philosophical and existential themes, such as life, death, or the meaning of existence, providing a unique lens into Russian society and values. Character development and symbolic visuals play a crucial role, allowing Russian films to convey complex themes with nuance. 
Also, almost all Russian films lack happy endings, the preference being towards finishing in tragedy. Russian producers go as far as to shoot two endings for their movies, a tragic one for the Russian audience and a happy one for the other markets. However, after the fall of the Soviet Union, Russian films started to progressively integrate the culture of the individual, confident in their perceptions and who strongly rejected the adherence to collectivity. Thus, Russia started to get acquainted with hippies, mafiosi, and Russian rambos, who fought for justice in the Chechnyan conflict. Who do you think made better movies? Write your opinion down below in the comm section and don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back to our channel for more juice coming from the movie world.